think in politics, Nelson Mandela um, has to be, you know, the iconic example. Um, I, I think I'm a, a big fan of, of Barack Obama as well, uh, Michael Manley, to a, an extent Fidel Castro. <laughs> Uh, um, perhaps reading minds. <laughs> I appreciate a, a wide cross section of music. You know, I like jazz, um, obviously reggae. You know, the, the the more sort of classical people. So, some of the younger, more modern, contemporary guys, protege, chronics. These are, you know, you know, great guys, great artists. Well, obviously the one that ha they've had the closest exposure to is Portia Simpson Miller. And I think she had an intuitive political sense and she, has a, she had an enduring concern for the poor and the underprivileged. Yeah, rather than say beach or river, I would more say seaside or mountain. And the truth is I'm more a mountain person than a seaside person, but I enjoy both. <laughs> I don't know which best describes me, but I can tell you the one that I like to eat is Devon House coconut ice cream. I am relaxed. I'm, you know, maybe too relaxed. <laughs> I am sensitive to our understanding of uh, my colleague Andre Horton's position on it uh, in adult entertainment. But truthfully, it's just not a major issue for me, you know, in the scheme of things. Um, toast by coffee. And you know the rise and boast is is, is obvious the, and coincidental. Again, it would probably be Mandela, you know, um, just because he's you know he's such an icon and he he you know spans such a huge part of history and as inspirational to so many generations of polit political leaders. Tough choice. I mean, two of my favorites, but I would have to say, boneless curry goat. <laughs> Every sport is, is is gripping and enthralling. You know, I, I even when my my eldest son went to school in England, he played rugby, something I'd never understood or never paid attention to. And then, but just because he was playing it at a competitive level. You know, I started observing it and, and started getting into the game. And then I, he, he went to college in the US, he played American football. I started watching that. But, you know, when World Cup time, I'm glued to the World Cup. When the reggae boys are playing, I'm watching. If anything, I'd probably say football. <laughs> Politics doesn't leave me much time for, ho for hobbies, but um, I'm a movie buff. So I, I like watching movies and, and I know I sort of do the um, series on demand, you know, the game, game of Thrones type type things. Coffee, coffee, um, copious amounts of black coffee to kick my kickstart my day. Uh, Guinness, um, just the wonder of young children in particular, and then seeing <laughs> seeing them them grow in, and and trans transform and mature. It's, it's just, you know, fascinating. Um, any choice that I'm faced with, any difficult choice in business or in politics, um, and you know, that's a tough choice. My reference is always, what would my mother say? <laughs> uh, you know, my mother passed some years ago, but I still use her as sort of the, um, the compass, exactly, you know. Um, relax more, you know. Um, don't make it mean too much, you know, don't stress yourself out. Um, in hindsight, probably could have, you know, been a little more relaxed, a little more chill. What, what designated survivor is, is one, is one, perhaps one of my favorites, definitely. Purpose, purpose driven, you know, that's, that's, I'm always, um, you know, set an objective for myself, and that's what that's what drives me um, in terms of when I get up in the morning.